you make a chair in the thing, so you can make a desk so maybe two small kids can fit on the desk together. To accompany what they have already. Yeah. Yeah. How long sharp are those corners then? Um don't get killed by them. <laughs> They're not sharp, like sharp. They're pretty smooth. Yeah, we we'll, we'll just send it. Okay. No questions? Did y'all have any uh, disagreements about or anything while you were working together? Yeah. 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 What did you disagree about? Uh, well, the size of the desk. Yeah, and if we were going to make a table or a desk, if we were going to buy some. Originally, really for first we we really wanted to make a big, really big table mm -hmm. and to hold like few, like four kids, four kids can sit on it. One, two, three, and then. But we found we out. We found it's really hard to shoot it together, yeah. so we just cut it. Cause we cut it down. He's to a next. donkey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any more questions? Thank you. Thanks. So they could like, afford it in Haiti, and like they didn't have it. And I'm not Yeah, our hypothesis is we did have to build like a bench for the school. And the reason we predicted to build a bench is students can sit on it. Like we can study on it like during the school time, or we can have lunch. Um, also, we think this will solve like a big problem for them because they don't have a lot of like furniture in Haiti, and it is like not cost a lot. They can build by their hands, so that's our hypothesis for building this. Yeah, and our first idea was a chair, but we actually decided to a bench because we could fit multiple students on it, and we knew a lot of students were sitting on the ground in the classroom, so we thought a bench would be more helpful. And also a bench can be used in the classroom outside, you can put it wherever you need it. So. Yeah, and the third part is the procedure, the material list. Uh, so materials, uh, basically, um, we just used a lot of 2x4s that you see on top. And um, we found a lot of the wood on campus that was being used was going to be tossed out, like the legs and these side pieces and underneath for support. That's what we found. And then we also used uh, flat head nails for so nail or I mean flat head screws so they wouldn't be like popping out of the seats so be more comfy, not kind of like scraped up or anything. <laughs> this will have the instruction for like how to build this. And procedures. Um, yeah. Oh uh, well, yeah. First we found it so uh, we. You have to find the wood first, and then you have to cut it to the certain lengths that you need, um, and for what parts. Um, and then third, we built the top part. Uh, first, we built kind of the base or the frame. Um, yeah. I don't know if you can see underneath. Can stop with me? Yeah. But we had what we originally did is we had this frame on the outside, and that's what we put together first. And then we found, this is some of the wood we found on campus too, that we put for support to make it stronger. So yeah. That was like what we first did. And yeah, once you get the base, then you can just go from there with adding on the legs and then right. using like sandpaper to make sure everything's nice um, and looks clean. Um, and then you're kind of done. And then you just have to, of course, screw the parts together. And then here's just some materials we found around campus. Uh, like, I think this is part of like maybe an old bed or something. And that's what we use for underneath. We cut it up and use that. And then also these are like some of the legs yeah. that we found. We cut them and use them. So cut it in half. And we can like go for like the legs. And then, um, yeah, that was just like how we started out. We measured it like very specific because like a few times we kind of messed up like, with the measurements and like as we were trying to like put the bench together it would be like very odd to like, go back and fix that. That was one of our big problems. Other than that, it's pretty smooth. And this is like the like the place where I work out and the time. Like this is like we're putting the nails into the bench, like to building like the base part. 
and like that's price and this is like putting like the under part and this one is just like putting it together this is it like finished shot some photos I mean as you can see here uh, it was a pretty enjoyable project to build I thought it was pretty fun doing some hands on work in this and I learned a lot about building stuff and then what we have done differently, um, I think we are pretty precise with our measurements, but making even, them even more precise to get more exact, uh, just like wood structure, because like Zamir said earlier, um, we had a little bit of problems with that, like the wood was a little bit like off measure, a little bit like warped in some places, so we had to take a step back and just make sure that was more precise. And also, um, with the experience that we learned, I think like I said, if we build this another time, it would be a lot better um, and easier. So. And we have a lot of discussion, like we have like a lot of problems we need to need to solve. Like how can we send like a whole big bench to the Haiti, and does this bench really help them like in their social lives? And you know, can this can the Haiti students find like a better materials, a a better material? materials to build another bench like that. And firstly we think we can send to Haiti. Like we can like uh, build we can put the base part and the legs part separately and it will only cost like a little bit. And we can and then we can like send like the instruction of how how to build this together again to like the Haiti students and they can put it by themselves. And secondly, um, we think it really helps them because we already tried to sit on it and it's fixed like us three persons, three people to sit on it and we can like use it during like school time or the lunch period. And thirdly, we think they probably can build another bench in Haiti because a lot of the material is refounded and also um, it is, I think it's cheap for building this bench. Yeah. It's not a big cost. And the last part is our conclusion. And our conclusion was um, our discussion really helps a lot. So our conclusion is this idea will work. We solve all the questions we have doing this project. Also, we send uh, a really good uh, furniture to the students. Um, they can use it for lunch, studying. Move out to um, like outdoors, um, or put some stuff on it. This is their uh, this is their legacy. Also, we hope they feel happy for this. VRS students try their best to use the the used materials to build a new bench. So that which means we succeed. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. If you were to build a different one, uh, you know, you talked about what you would do differently. Uh, how would you, what are some of the things that would lead to the decisions on how big you make it? Because um, I imagine you can't take the same thing and make it smaller or bigger. But, yeah. but, but what, would, uh, what would be the deciding factors on the size? The size? Well, um, well, I think our kind of goal is to fit like three of like our like big bigger high schooler guys on this. So yeah, and like if we know we can fit all like all three of us, we can fit like a lot of like, smaller kids on it. Um, but yeah we could definitely build this smaller or bigger, but I think just like right in between us. And also like we can put some handlebars in the back part so like people will not like figure out yeah. Go back like that. If we had more time, we would definitely have like a like back support. And more time, that's yeah. super good. Um, so if I understand it, you you made a demo model for them, and then you're expecting them to be able to find wood like you did in Haiti. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Have you have you thought about um, being able to supply instructions that would show uh, different size woods that would still be acceptable? Like you know, those are some pretty big side rails on that, right? Yeah. Yeah, does it need to be that big? What if they found something small? Uh, no, uh, not really, Mr. If you can like 
like see like those two, they are like the different sizes. Yeah. But it's still like fit because it is bench and we have like the support part. So it, like um, every like kind of material will fit like like wood material will fit on like the legs part. It doesn't need to be so clear, but for the base part, uh, probably it should like be taking like some more rules for like giving the support so it can help the people. And so how would you communicate that to the people in the paper? Um, probably translate and just by like uh, maybe an easier like instruction to like give like two alternative ways to build it like different sizes and okay. whatnot. All right. Okay. Any questions? Thank you.